Hello and welcome to part two of painting Indomitus Space Marines. So in part one, which I'll, I'll try and put the link below, um, yeah I'm getting techy now, <laughs> um, we got him to battle ready, which there we go, um, to be honest with you guys, um, I'd be quite happy to use that in a game, um, but now we're going to take him to the next level and um, how we're going to do that is we're going to edge highlight his armour, um, do a bit of highlighting across the whole miniature and then just some little special things to make him sort of pop. Okay, so the first thing, as we know, at Ultramarines, he is, uh, he's got blue armour plates on him. And all the armour plates have their own little line on them. So we're going to edge highlight them. And to do that, we're coming in with our original base colour, the crack blue. And we're going to put a little bit onto our palette. Okay. And a tiny bit of water. You've noticed I've gone down brush size here as well. Okay, and what we're going to do, using the side of our brush, we're going to come in and we're going to pick out the edge of his armour. Okay, so anywhere where there's an edge, we want to be going across it. Okay, like there, for example. Yeah. On top of his helmet. Take your time with this, guys, you know? Take your time with it. And build it up, okay? And think about where the wash has left a recess. We're gonna leave dark. And anywhere else, we're gonna have that line highlight in, okay? All the armor plates, he's got them there. Anywhere where there's an edge, okay, it's just gonna make it pop. Don't forget his hands. Yeah, and we're going relatively, not thick with this highlight. We're still making sure that we've got plenty of water into our paint mix, but we are Picking out those areas as best we can, okay? Now, the shield at the front, I am going to edge highlight it. But only, I'm not going to do anything to the front, the plate itself. Because the lieutenants, or Indomitus lieutenants, or Primaris lieutenants, whatever you want to call them. They have um, this sort of livery on the front, which we'll also do, okay? So what we're doing, I'm going to go through and edge highlight the whole miniature. So there, for example, when you have these, these gaps in the armor plates, so we're going to go across there and there, okay? And you see what I'm doing there, I'm sort of building up that edge highlight. I'm going to go around the whole model and finish that off and come back to you with the next stage. Okay, so that's the edge highlighting done. And can you see how it just makes that armor pop straight away? Yeah, it just builds upon the shading that we've done and it just really makes the armor pop. But I want to go to one more level with this, so I'm going to come in with the fang. Now, the fang is supposed to be a grey, um, it used to be called Space Wolves Grey, I believe, but it's quite bluey. So, when I put it out on my palette, yeah, it's quite a blue color, um, tiniest bit of water, and what I'm doing now. Is I'm just picking again, but the real extremes, okay? The real extreme areas, yeah, just to give it a real sort of sharp kick, yeah, not all the way, just really sort of making it like there, for example, on the helmet. So we'd now go just in that corner, yeah, just to, to build that highlight layer up top of the shield. Yeah, it's just going to add that extra level of depth to it that you perhaps wouldn't get from one highlight. You know, real edges of the armour. Yeah, things like that. Just build it up. And because it's on our blue base coat, he's not going to look like a space wolf. Yeah? And it's just all about building highlights up. Yeah. I need to be fancy, nothing over the top. 
gradually build that pain up. Just to make him pop. So can you see there now, for example, two star, two highlight layers on there really make him sort of pop out. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around, just run it around again, the rest of the miniature, and I'll come back to you. And there you go. So if you just followed those steps, congratulations, you've just done a two-stage edge highlight on a miniature. Um, it just makes you pop, yeah. It makes him go, woof, my, my arm's blue, but not ridiculously blue. I still like I could be in a battlefield, <laughs> which is the idea, okay? So the next thing that we're going to do, um, all of the, the skeletons, things like that, um, the bone bone areas, they need a bit of a touch up. So dead easy again. Use our original colour, coming in with skeleton blue. Okay. I'll put a little bit on my palette. And we're just gonna go back over any of the areas. So a tiny bit of water again. And we're gonna build up on top of them. So there's a good example there. So the skull there, think about where the light would fall if it's above it. Yeah, and then these ones in here, we can actually just run our brush down. The one on his belt, same thing. I think that was it, wasn't it? He wasn't super sculled, not like the rest of them. No. Okay. So, yeah, that looks great. However, let's take it to the next stage. So this time, we're coming in with Corax White. And we're going to mix our colours now. Okay, and the way that we're going to do that, I'm going to add some Corax White to the brush, and I'm going to mix it into that to just sort of like give it an off-bone colour. And what I'm doing, this new mixed colour on my brush, and I'm just again, I'm going to two stage it. So I'm going to pick the really top of these highlights out. What we're doing here guys really we're, we're helping that wash i think it's probably the best way of looking at it we're sort of building upon what the wash has already done for us we're thinking about where the light would actually land on these guys where would it be yeah like that for example i've highlighted it higher to the top but if we look at that now yeah so we've now got highlighted skull dead easy dead dead easy so now what we're going to do, is we're going to look at the purity shields. And again, I've got my skull bone mix on the side. But we started, if you remember, these guys in this leather brown colour. So with our leather brown, we're going to take a bit of leather brown. And we're going to mix it into some bone. Okay. Because I want to have a sort of lighter stage than the start. And all the purity shields, dead easy. We're going to paint the majority of it in this new mixed colour. Yeah. The top there, there's a purity seal. Shout them out if you spot them. <laughs> There's one. So that one's quite sort of longer, so I've left the sort of recesses in it, if that makes sense. Yeah. I'm going across. So if you ever look at old parchment, 
It's never sort of perfectly white. It tends to be that sort of yellowy colour. Yeah. Yeah, it's really as easy as that, guys. Just going across those those purity seals will bring this to life. Now again, what we're going to do, going back to our colour palette, I'm going to take some more of that white and I'm going to go down another shade. Okay, on this brown I'm going to go down quite a lot. And things like here. I'm going to then start to repeat the process. But with less contact. Yeah, so less areas are covered. Yeah, so straight away, can you see what that's done to those? It just makes it look like a purity seal's made of paper and not, well, in a piece of moulded plastic. <laughs> so down this side. So you might notice that what we're doing, essentially, is we're going back to the original colour that we put on the miniature. And we're then building it back up and making it lighter. This guy here. Like a secondary bit of that purity seal there, and there we go, and then the one at the top there. You know, don't be afraid to mix your paint, you can get some brilliant effects, not that difficult. Okay, so there we go. You followed that, you've just done a two stage paper parchment highlight. Okay, last thing for the purity seals. We're going to come back in with Mephiston Red, which was the original colour that we did the wax areas. Dot on my palette. Yeah. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to basically highlight the top of those. Right. Yeah, in the centre, around the edge, leaving the sort of darker recesses in there. So, really, so again, we're aiming for it to look real, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, so there's a good example for if you spot something like from beforehand, there's a bit of gold on this one here. Let's go over it now. with that highlight stage you see we're building up that colour ok we also had his sword hilt yeah done around the back there now I'm going to highlight it a little bit at the bottom But not at the top because his arm would cover the light and we're always thinking about where the light's going to land last thing for the purity shields i'm taking a tiny bit of the brown mix into the into the red and i'm making this sort of like salmon-y sort of color okay and i'm just going to come across the top and really sort of lightly touch them i don't want them pink but I don't want them perfectly red. Yeah, just lightly touch them. What's that's doing? It's adding to the illusion that we're building up. Yeah, I'm just lightly building it up. You know, it don't need to be anything spectacular. We're just stage by stage by stage. Hold the sword towards the top, light touches. Yeah. And then there we go. That's his purity seals done. 
and the sword hilt done. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the gold aspects and the metallic aspects. Okay, so that's where we're looking. Um, I have just gone and done that bit of livery there, which I missed, uh, just in the same method as Purity Seals guys on the front. Uh, but now we want to touch on the metallics and the gold. Um, this is going to be a lot easier than what it, what you would probably imagine. Um, and I'm going to use Stormhill Silver. Um, lots of people with gold and things like that. They go, oh, I need to go through 12 different stages of gold and 12 different paint colours of this to get gold. Use silver when highlighting gold and it just makes it go pop. Okay, it's a nice bit of silver and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, I'm just touching the very top highlights. It's cross as well. So can you see straight away? That's going to act as if it's a gold area. Actually shining like with the silver. Top of his knee pad. Top of the helmet thing there. Remember that's a skull, so we'll go down it. Hilt of the sword. Yeah. The belt buckle. I'm just touching on it. Just touching it. And the work underneath, that gold colour will really shine through now. That's how I will approach the gold on everything, but I just want to show you how I would also approach the silver. And this is dead easy. I'm just going to edge highlight it. It's just the same way as any other colour. So it really shines. Yeah. It really is as easy as that. Yeah, I'm not going over the top. And I'm going to leave the bits on the back of the shield because I think they're totally look better sort of battle damaged. The Volkite weapon. Now we're going to do some different work on this later on, but for things like that, just pick out the top of the areas. Yeah. Just pick them out with the side of your brush. And it just, just adds a bit of something to it. You know? At the edge of his armor plates. Yeah. Edge of the shield. Yeah, just go around and pick it out. Okay, I'll go around and do that and I'll come back to you. And there we go. So now that gold's got a bit of a glint and a glisten to it. Um, our parchment is done already, and our silver's just got a nice little highlight to it. So the next thing that we're going to do is, is yeah, we're going to break out the trusted dark brown that we used. Oak brown is what I used. Um, these areas. So his gun pouch and the scabbard of the sword. And it's going to be of no surprise here, guys, that I'm going to put a bit on the palette. Go add a bit of water into it. And I'm just going to start building up that layering again. So on here for example, anywhere where the light would touch on the edge. Okay. Right the edge of it here. Yeah. It's down there. And then with leather and things like that. You see, it's, it's got a bit of an undulation to it, so I tend to just sort of like so I do something like that down the middle of it. Okay, now at first you might think, well, I can't really see these, but all will become clear. 
in a moment. Okay, got the scabbard, still easy. Side of the brush, yeah. Side of the brush. And then we're gonna just add a little bit on the mill. Okay. Yes, currently you might not be able to see them, uh, but trust me, there is a, a method to this madness. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to add a bit of our off brown. So the other brown that we used to base these, which is here, and I'm going to mix it into the dark brown. Okay. Yeah, so I've got that sort of like off colour. Yeah. Now using that, I'm then going to highlight. Belt. And then on the undulation, see what I mean? And that's going to pull the effect that this is made of leather or some sort of animal hide or. Gonna have, I don't know, jean stealer, right? <laughs> well, I don't know, I mean, he's a, a loyalist, aren't they, ultramarines? Yeah. Across the top. Yeah, just making it sort of stand out a bit. Back here. Same thing. Scabbard. Along the top, because that's where the light would hit. Yeah. And then we're going to just add that, that effect on. I'm doing that, just pulling the brush over it a few times. Okay. Yeah, do you see what I mean? It just gives that instant effect of that's actually made of animal hide. Or oh, it's not flat brown the other side okay so I'm quite happy with that it's you know don't be afraid though just go in and just want that a little bit more a bit more striking yeah Now his belt, we're going to carefully just try and dot that in the middle there and across the top there, which is his belt. Yeah, and he has got belt there. Briefest of touches with it just to make it look as if it's a belt and not part of his armor. Okay, so that's brown, done. Okay, I'm not going to do any more on that. So I think the next stage to look at is perhaps this cloth down the middle. And also things like, so over there for example, we've got a little bit of brown on the silver. You know, don't despair. <laughs> We're going to come back in, just almost. And we're just going to correct it. That's his belt, scabbard, um, all the metallics done, and his blue armor done. So I think the next stage here is going to be this cloth, this long cloth thing, or his tabard or whatever you want to call it. Then we need to look at the white on the shield, don't we? And then we're going to do some finishing details on, maybe make these sort of areas look like the glowing because it's a power shield. Do something with this, and then then we've got a pretty good miniature. So let me just reset, and I'll come back to you. Okay, so for this sort of tabard area, I've got some of the original colour which we used, which was the brown on the palette. And again, I'm just going to highlight this up, guys. All right. I'm just building it up. And we're going to decide how, sort of, how far we want to go with this. Um, 
you know, as, as we apply it really. So, because ideally they're kind of like, sort of like warrior monks, aren't they? Yeah. So as we build this up, we might want to think about, it really wants to be almost like a creamy sort of colour. Yeah. So we're going to put the first stage on and follow the, the lines that the fabric shows you. Okay, things like that. Follow those lines that are there for you. Yeah. Remembering to leave the dark recesses, okay? The other side here. Coming, we're going to do exactly the same thing. So, can you see what I've done there? The top here, it's a little bit harder to do. So, we just wait for where it would fold. Okay, on the back, now this is a bit more complicated to get to. Okay, so I'm going to touch around the edges and in there, but I'm not too fussed about that because it will also be covered by the shadow of the model. Okay, so it's going to be darker in there anyway. So let's keep building this up. Yeah. And while that's drying off, we want it to be a robe colour. So we're going to go to our bone. We're going to mix that straight into the straight into the brown. Okay. Quite a heavy amount. Okay. I've mixed quite a lot in. Uh, yeah. So it's just an off bone. And what I'm going to be doing with that? I'm going to follow those highlights. Yeah, because this is the this is the actual colour that we want this to be. Yeah, we need to sort of build up through it. In there, that dark place there, I'm leaving it. Yeah, but I'm gradually building this up. To where the light would fall. Get in there, yeah. <clears throat> so I'm building that up. Think about where the shadows would be for the model. Okay, think about the shadows. Um, I'm quite happy with that. And now I'm going to mix white into that to get my final highlight stage. 
So I'm hitting it with the ceramite white. Corax white, not ceramite. What's ceramite? Oh, ceramite's their armor, isn't it? Is that what their armor's made of? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not the Mr. Law. And tell me if you know what ceramite is. I think that's what their armor's made of. I don't know. And all I'm doing here, guys, I'm just coming back in with my white mix. It's the absolute touch of a highlight. This is how I approach sort of religious cloth. It's probably the the way of looking at it, eh? Religious cloth? Is that, I don't know, is that the best way of putting it? There we go. Done. Now you've noticed there I've, I've touched that blue in two places. So it's fine. I am. Um, one of the reasons why I have a wet palette is my actual previous highlights are still there. I'm just going to go in. Done. There you go. So there's his cloth done. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I think he's looking pretty cheeky. We're going to come in to in the armor gaps. So remember me telling you there was like an undersuit on Marine? And what did we do with it? Was it, was it? was it black, wasn't it? Well, grey is the perfect highlight for black, as you can, be, <laughs> as you can expect. So I've come in with Mechanicum grey. And all I'm going to do on these areas is just really lightly, top down, touch them with my brush. And it's just giving it that light highlight. Look at the back of his legs. Yeah. Done. Okay. That's enough just, just to give that a little bit of life. So you can see now he's, he's really sort of coming to life, so to speak. <laughs> um, but there's a few finishing touches. On the back of his power shield, I'm calling it a power shield, I don't really know what it is. Uh, we need to do the white, I mean, as well, that reminds me. But he's got these points here, and they seem to be some sort of like glowing energy area um, when I look on the sort of like references to them. So the, re the way we're going to do that is going to be it's going to be really, really simple. I'm going to set my original blue. Pull some on my palette. And I'm going to go a little bit more watery than I have been previously. So I like the consistency of milk for this bit. And uh, all the areas I'm just going to touch over the top of them. Just like that. That sort of glow. And I'm leaving, because it's almost like a bit more translucent in this mix. And I'm not worried if it's going over, guys. Yeah. Um, maybe surround it a little bit as well. Something like that. Power effect. Yeah. I'm going to leave that to dry. But the next step I would do on this. I would take light, some of the cream or light colour we've done, so I'll go down one stage. And I'd go in there and I'd just put a dot. Okay. Nothing too over the top. Done. Power effect on the shield. Yeah. So I'm going to let these stages dry for a bit, guys. 
and then I'm going to come back and have a look at things like the Volkite weapon needs a bit of love <laughs> and then this shield here and then we'll try and look at things like how we would do a bit of scripture on armor and things like that and the white on the back of the shield so I'll leave him for a bit of drying and I'll come back to you shortly okay so um, we're now going to hit the model with just some black detail okay it's things like the the ball cap pistol I'm going to leave the majority of that metallic um, and I'll explain why in a moment um, and then we'll try and do maybe a bit of writing on here <laughs> he says so the writing and scripture and things like that on my it's going to be quite interesting so I'm coming in corpus black okay and I want a bit of water For the back of the pistol is dead easy. I'm just going to take this bit, uh, this area here, and make it black. Okay, it's to break up the overall silver effect of the weapon, but not to take away from the effect we're going to do on the gun itself. Okay, now <clears throat> on here. Let's think of a cool name, won't we? So, if I start, I always want to start in the middle of writing. Maximus, <laughs> yeah, that'll do. One is quite sort of Roman. There you go, some Maximus, Decimus Meridius. Um, I'm going back here. I see that. So with the writing and things like that, if you if you're doing like a seven letter thing, um, start in the middle and work your way around it either side because it's spaced. Yeah, on there that's really tiny um, to put anything in. So what we might try and do is sort of simulate writing, and we do that with dots. Yeah, so she's got like scripture on there. And we'll come in with some white and do that in a bit as well. Okay, so while that's drying, let's look at his shield. So, and we, as no surprise, we're going to come in with Corvus White, first of all. Super easy. Corvus White on the palette. And white, there's no real sort of secret to it. You shade it down there, like, oh, just like any other colour. Uh, things like that in that corner yeah just think about where it is and what it looks like you know and we, 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 it's not going to be brilliant white you know this guy's been out purging the enemy, hasn't he? Yeah, I'm going to keep building it up a little bit. those sort of key areas yeah don't, we don't have to go too much on this we don't want to go insane on it but. done yeah so what we're also going to do with the white is we're going to do some writing 
like script. I love I love the idea of scripture on our armor and things like that. Um, so to find again, we don't want to go crazy on this. We don't want to over, overload it. There, yeah. So writing, just do lots of little dots in a row. There you go. He's got a battle litany on his arm, on his legs, should I say. Um, over this side, we'll put one here. I'm not going too much on that because we will actually try and put the ultramarine symbol on there. Um, I'll have to see if we've got decal, if not, I'll have to try and... Uh... Yeah. Right, it's really, really easy to do. And think about it from a distance, it looks cool. Okay, we're not going overboard. Um, you know, it's like things are there. Leave those little breaks, Nick. So, you know, when, you, when you're writing those paragraphs and all that type of thing, yeah? Done. That's it for the writing. I'm not going in it overboard. I have some, <laughs> some people with them like crazy and all that. But essentially, writing, what I'm doing is... I can use an LME, just use one of the old colours I've got here. We're essentially doing this, so we're going. And then coming in for a second line. Yeah, just in, just in blocks. And that simulates writing. Yeah, so like on there, for example. I just like play things like that. So yeah, cool. So we're getting some really serious details on this guy now. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to highlight the black that we put on the gun. Um, we're going to do that with a tiny bit of white, mix it into Corax. Yeah. And we're just going across the top. Okay, so now we're gonna come back. We're gonna look at this effect here. We'll do some sort of like glowy effect on his actual gun. And then I think we're, we're very, very close to a very cool looking model, okay? Okay, so if we look at the uh, the Volkite weapon. Now Volkite seems to have like an, an orange glow to it from, from what I've seen in all the sort of reference material. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with yellow for this on my palette and I'm going to make my own orange as the first stage and the reason I'm doing that is because when I come to use the yellow and so on and so forth the uh, next stages of this it's tied into the same original base colour yeah so there we go that's my orange that I want to sort of play with And it's dead easy, I'm just, just painting the whole thing. It's quite a translucent again. I'm going over the edges deliberately here. Okay. Yeah. Going over the edges deliberately makes it look like the area of his glowing. Okay. Now that needs to thoroughly dry and then we'll work on that glow effect. While that is drying, let's have a look around and see if there's anything else. So now I've got a bit of orange on the lenses of his eyes. I might want to dot those. Give them a reflection point. It's going to be more difficult on that side, isn't it? Let's have a look. Yeah. So it goes, that just gives you a reflection point on his lenses. Yeah, it's coming coming along nicely. Um, that's going to take a little while to dry. So while that's drying, 
Let's give his lenses an actual shine. And the way we're going to do that is just with a spot of gloss, gloss varnish. There's no secret with gloss varnish, guys. Just paint it over the area you want it to glow. Uh, on it to shine. Done. There we go. Now this area here is, is almost fully dry. So we're going to let it fully dry. But what we're going to do essentially, when anything is glowing or is generating any form of power or energy field much like we did here we dotted blue in the middle lighter and the reason we did that is because it's always lighter in the middle yeah to emanate this sort of glow and that, you remember our original color that we have here we're now going to come back with our original yellow and mix a little bit in okay and this is as easy as now in the middle of this area Yeah, not all the way to the edges. And it simulates that power glow. Boop. Yeah. The end of the gun. Now there's always speculation what you should do with these. To be honest with you, I tend to get a little bit of the original mix. It's like it looks like it's firing, you know what I mean? Yeah, just on the end of his gun. Okay. As that dries, we're now going to go even lighter in the middle. And we're going to do that by adding white into this mix. Okay. So it's, it's really is simple. We're going to get our Colorax white. Give it a really good shake. take a bit of that mix add it in the Corax and go in the middle of here even less further in yeah yes it's still wet essentially this is really basic wet blending okay now I'm happy with that I'll come back to you when this is fully dry to show you one final stage to make that really pop so now that the uh, the weapon is dry, um, we're going to use some white, some trusty Corax white, <laughs> to um, really sort of make that look as if it's glowing. I'm going to put quite a bit of color, well not a lot of color, not a massive of it, but quite a lot on the palette because I'm going to do some other things with it as well. A um, bit of water in there guys as always, mix it up, clean the brush. And what we're doing, just in the middle. Now I'm going to come and look at this area. Now, half of this appears to be yellow. At least on the art that I found. Yep. So that's obviously going to be yellow, that aspect of it, yeah. That's why we've, we've done that like that. And then we also have another brick across here. And this seems to be like a, a checkerboard thing. So the way you, not checkerboard, but it's like sort of squares. So the way that we're gonna do that. Yeah, and then we're just gonna
alternating it. Yeah. So. It's a quick and easy way of doing that. And it's like I said, yes, I'm sure that there'll be painters out there that can make that look unbelievable. Um, <laughs> for me, it's just an easier way of doing it. And I'm going to go back over that aspect there because that's going to be yellow. Okay. So things like this, you know, they are really sort of end level sort of things. But what, I, what I've done there when it came to the sort of basic cross hatch, use another colour. Line, 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 yeah. And then just, just block it out. Yeah, so like that would be the colour. Then this area would be the colour. Yeah, so line and just alternate them. This area would be colour, this area would be colour, and then that gives you that sort of check pattern. Yeah? Yeah, I know it is practice, guys, just, just try and practice at it. I mean, I'm not amazing at that type of thing, but I do try. It just adds a bit of. I don't know, has he painted it himself? I don't know. Last thing I've noticed on the helmet, um, he actually seems to have a white and red stripe down the middle, uh, which is great. I don't know if that's a symbol he's a lieutenant or if it's a symbol he's on the Indomitus Crusade. I don't honestly know. <laughs> um, and it seems to sort of come down here as well. Just above his eyes. Yeah, things like this, they, they can be scary, you know, and you're just like, oh, wow, I've just done all this work, and now I'm painting great white lines all over it, what, what are you doing? Um, there we there. And then this here, this area, is, it seems to be black uh, with a red stripe, so we're just going to put the black in, and then we need to let all that detail dry before we can come back for the final touches. Okay, so our trusty corpse black. Into the palette. I mean, tell me, if anyone out there actually knows what, what this is, um, do, do, do tell me. I, th I am imagining it's something to do with the Odometus Crusade, or it's like his Crusade badge, or, or, or something like that. I don't 100% know. There we go. Okay, so we're going to leave that dry uh, just for a few moments and then come back in with some final touches. But the Volcat weapon is looking cool. Looks like it's got a glow to it. Yeah, we'll come back in with some final touches. One of the things that probably I would do with the Volcat weapon is it's sort of the Age of Darkness technology, isn't it? So I'll use a bit of Accurate's Earth Shade. Yeah, tiny bit on there. I'm just going to come in here. Yeah, just to make it look a little bit more like it's old. The other side as well. Yeah, I've got bonkers on that. I'm just. Yeah make it look like it's a bit sort of old and the last thing we're going to do it seems like there's a light blue power cell lights on it um, going back to the original blue <laughs> so much like we did the shield but with this we don't need to be as translucent here Just a line over them to start with. Seems to be two on the other side as well. Okay, leave those to dry and then we'll come back over with a lighter one. So can you see straight away on that sort of 
already doing a lot of the work for you. Thin your paints, guys. Thin your paints. To the lighter blue we did for the back of the shield, I still have the mix here. Dot, 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 dot. Done. Yeah. This side. Dot, dot. And there we go, and that's his Volkite weapon. Done. Yeah. Bit of a glow to it, bit of an interesting. Something's going on with that on the battlefield. Looks different, signifies he's got a special weapon. And we've got the livery there, almost ready to finish off. Okay. So, I'm going to leave him to thoroughly dry, then I'll come back for final touches. Okay, so um, let's finish them off. So this this yellow area, I have my Volkite mix here. So remember guys, it's yellow with a tiny dot of orange in it. Okay, I'm going back over the white. The reason I did it white first is there you go. It actually looks like it's bright and stands out, which is what we wanted, isn't it? Okay, so across top of that. Outside, yeah. The bottom's got a red line through it. Again, if you can tell me what these things mean, um, I'm always keen to learn. <laughs> um, so I'm coming in with Mephiston. Bit on the palette. And a tiny bit of water. And it's, it seems to just be a line, a straight line, so. One. Um, he also has this red line across the top of his head. Um, so let's. Yeah. Don't know how far back that's supposed to go. Go all the way. All the way. Okay. And obviously that would then carry into here a little bit. So let's do it. Like that. Difficult, isn't it? Okay, so we might do a dot of white on the side there. Okay, so that's the. There we go. Stripe down his head. And he's got this stripe here. Which is a. I don't really know what it is, like I said. And the yellow on his campaign badge. So, what we're going to do now is give that yellow one little brief highlight. Now we do that, as we remember now, we add a tiny dot of white into our yellow mix. Okay. I'm just going to go across the top of that, yeah, and just down it. Okay. Done. Yeah, so that's his like campaign badge on the front there, done. Okay, I don't really know what any of it stands for, what any of it means. If you do, let me know. Uh, I think I'm on there. I think we are pretty much done. I made a slight error there. Oh, look at that, with the magic of a torch, it's gone. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'll do a bit of research, see as to what you should have on that shoulder pad. I'm not sure if it's the ultramarine symbol, um, but I am just going to double check. Um, I'm just going to go around here like freehanding so difficult you just gotta don't be afraid to go back and just touch your own you know what I mean? there we go yeah so really happy with how this guy's coming out a bit more impressive isn't he so let me just double check what's on that shoulder pad and i will come back to you with final things so it turns out that it's the ultramarine symbol um, <laughs> so I've got my Clorox white. Look, I'm not doing this 
as um, probably as the right size or oh, the position that it should be in guys okay I'm just going to paint it on I've just hand painted that on um, and the scripture around it actually works quite well with that it's like it's sort of built into it so yeah I'm sure that's you can there are decals <laughs> decals in the box and stuff like that it just shows you what you can actually achieve just use white it's a nice watered down white paint you know you can get quite a lot of things done okay so there you have it Okay, this is sort of taking our battle ready look to the next level. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope there's some interesting tips for you there. Um, and yeah, as always, guys, please do like, subscribe, share me, and all this sort of thing. Uh, but most importantly, happy hobby.